Hello there gang, Teresa Vigorino here, your transformational life coach. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. I did not have good reception and couldn't get on the live a little bit ago, so I had to wait until I got back to the homestead so I can join you today for Miraculous Mindsets. And today I want to talk to you about pain versus suffering. It's such a um, important, an important lesson for all of us to consider and uh, material for us to digest and incorporate in our life because so many times in life when things don't turn out the way we hoped, the way we planned, um, or if you have a history of traumatic experiences, disappointments, hurts, wounds, which we all do to a certain degree, um, I want to discuss with you this concept of, of the human condition and of experiencing pain versus the suffering that goes along with that. So um, along with all of my studies, I started yoga at school this past year in one book that I was reading that made so much sense to me, and it was a Buddhist teaching actually, that Buddha taught about the human condition and that pain is inevitable as human beings. We all experience loss. We all experience disappointments. You know, We all experience someone passing into the next realm. We all experience different things that cause the feeling of pain, the feeling of loss, the feeling of grief, the feeling of disappointment, the feeling of hurt. We all go through that. So, but where, where the rubber meets the road here and where we can limit how much we're going to suffer over event is the suffering part, is the stories we tell around that particular incident or event or experience. So there's a difference between having pain. We're going to have pain. That's part of being a human being. But how much we suffer is really up to us, and it's really a choice that we make each and every time. So, for instance, if you have recently gone through a breakup or something of that nature, a relationship didn't work out for you, you can... You put that in a container of, you know, that hurt, I'm disappointed, I was hoping for something else, and then you can begin the healing process from there. However, if you're coming from it as this was a breakup and that hurt, and, and here comes your suffering story, which is there's never going to be anybody for me, I don't, you know, he's a this or a that, or she's a this or a that, and you blame the person for it not working out, and these storylines keep going of, you know, they hurt you the blame story, or maybe you're blaming yourself, or you weren't good enough, or something happened. And so then becomes the sickness in the brain. So what happens is then the storylines get triggered into maybe a past story that was similar. Maybe something you witnessed when you were growing up. Hi, Cher. So all of those things get triggered, and it becomes this all-consuming brain pattern of suffering. So the key here is to become, Josie, hi, Josie, is to become the observer of these conversations that are going to be triggered and going on around in your head as you experience something that can be painful. So, you know, as I've been teaching you um, to be aware of what your conversations are within your own mind, to be aware of how that triggers your feelings. And what you can do is you can then gauge, wait a minute now, I'm going into a suffering story rather than just saying, hey, that was painful. I'm going to you do my healing work and get on with it. The the storyline and the suffering that that triggers from the experience that triggers us back into older stories, and they seem so big, and that we're never going to get past them. So it's really important that you become vigilant over your th own thought process because that's where this work lies. What are you thinking about when you've experienced something that's wounded you or hurt you or disappointed you? And can you observe the storyline that gets triggered in you and that then you go down that rabbit hole of despair is what I call it. And I know that I was the queen of that. So I'm speaking not only from the neuroscience training I've received and emotional healing I've received and spiritual teachings I've received, but from my own life. So um, to end your suffering... It'll be getting out of the storyline and just not allowing those thought patterns to rule your brain. Now, that's not an easy feat. You know, sounds simple. Yes, simple, not easy. Um, reach out to me if you need help with that. This is an area of my expertise. And so, but it's crucial for each and every one of us. Karen Hardy, oh, Bridget Jones is on the line. This is a treat for me. Can't wait to see you soon. Um, 
it's, it's important to remember this because you know that something in the horizon for all of us, we're going to experience some kind of pain and wounding again. So if you can master understanding how your thoughts trigger your emotions and how an experience painful experience can trigger this all these memories and old stories that keep you in that suffering state you'll be able to head it off and awareness is the first step to everything so my point for you today is be aware if you're living in a storyline of pain and suffering disappointment hurt nothing's working out for you now you have a victim mentality you know, reach out to me so I can help you through that. Because as long as you have that mentality, you're sending that out and that's exactly what you're going to track back to you. So the point is, is to stop the storyline, create, deliberately create a new storyline, which we'll talk about next week and um, focus on your possibility and not the problem because all of that triggers new neural pathways to develop emotional healing. You're raising your energetic vibration. I know that's woo woo Karen, but it's the truth. And then you can attract what you really want to experience. And that's the name of the game. Let's live the life we really want to. So I hope that that helps you reach out to me, message me. Remember I've been talking all along about some free resources I have. You can check me out on my website, TeresaVigorino.com. I love your comments here. If you see this in the future, please reach out to me. Questions, comments, I love them. And um, stay tuned, everybody. The information for this three-day event is coming out this week, like maybe by Wednesday. Um, I'm really excited to release that to you. And also, um, this big wedding. We're going to Facebook Live a lot of the wedding, and a lot of you people that are on here are going to be there. And I'm so excited to bring this to you. The details are amazing. And if I can have this amazing love story, you can too. Okay, everybody. Peace out. See you Wednesday.